Hi, let us solve this fraction. In this example, there are two brackets. In the first bracket, we have multiplication, and in the second bracket, we have addition. And there is a division between two brackets, right? So, whenever we have this kind of example, then we have to follow this particular rule that is baud mass. And the order of operation goes like this first, we need to solve bracket. After that, orders that is power and roots, then division, after that, multiplication, then addition and subtraction. So, this is the order as well. So, in our example, I see there are two brackets this is first bracket, and this is second bracket. So, whenever we have two brackets or any two operators with same priority, then we can solve any one first. So, we can solve either first bracket or second bracket first right so let us solve 1 upon 2 multiply by 3 upon 4 let me write it down 1 upon 2 multiply by 3 upon 4 so multiplication of fraction is very simple we have to multiply both the numerators and keep it at the numerator place and we have to multiply both the denominators and keep it at the denominators place 1 multiply by 3 is 3 2 multiply by 4 is 8 right so, at the place of 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 4, we can write it 3 upon 8, right? Let us put it in bracket as we have in the example. So, now I am going to replace 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 4 by 3 upon 8. Yeah, let us move to next slide. Okay, so I have replaced 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 4 by 3 upon 8, right? Now we will solve second bracket that is 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6. Okay, let me write it down. So, in this example, we have to take LCM of 3 and 6. LCM of 3 and 6 is 6. 3 and 6, right, is 6. So, we have to make both the fractions denominator to 6, right. So, let us see first 2 upon 3. And to make the denominator 6, I have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 and 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, right? And for 1 by 1 upon 6, we already have 6 at the denominator's place. Now the addition becomes very simple. For 2 upon 3, I will write 4 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6, I will write as is. This is equal to 4 plus 1 is 5 and at the denominator's place we will have 6 because we have common denominator. Okay. So, sum of 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 is equal to 5 upon 6. Let us write it down. 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 is equal to 5 upon 6. Okay. Let us put in bracket as well. So, to solve 3 upon 8 divided by 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 in a bracket, we can write it as, so 3 upon 8 I will write as it is, then we have a division sign and for 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6, we just found out that it is equal to 5 upon 6, right? So, whenever we are dividing two fractions, first fraction we will write as it is and at the place of division, I will write multiplication and I will inverse the second fraction. So, 5 upon 6 will become as 6 upon 5. So, did you notice what changes I made? First change division symbol is converted to multiplication and the fraction after division is inverted, right? So, 5 upon 6 became 6 upon 5, okay? We just reversed numerator and denominator. We placed numerator at the denominator's place and denominator at the numerator's place. So, this is going to be 3 multiplied by 6 divided by 8 multiplied by 5. Okay, let us simplify this fraction. 3 I will write as it is. 6 will become 2 multiplied by 3. For 8 I will write 2 multiplied by 4 and then multiply by 5. Right? So, this 2 and this 2 will cancel each other. At the numerator's place we have 3 multiplied by 3 that is 9. And at the denominator's place, we have 4 multiplied by 5, that is 20, right? So, this is the answer. 
and this is the simplified form of the fraction we cannot simplify it further right so 9 upon 20 is the answer of this particular fraction question right so shall we see what we have done okay let us see what we have done first we solved 1 upon 2 multiplied by 3 upon 4 and value of this is 3 upon 8 right then we have division symbol after that we solved this 2 upon 3 plus 1 upon 6 and result of this addition was 5 upon 6 right then we solved this fraction division 3 upon 8 we wrote as it is and to convert division to multiplication we put a multiplication sign then 5 upon 6 we inversed this fraction and make it 6 upon 5 right 3 multiply by 6 we wrote it as 2 multiply by 3 and 8 we wrote it as 2 multiply by 4 and 5 we already have right so this 2 and this 2 will cancel each other and the result is 3 multiply by 3 is 9 at the numerator's place and 4 multiply by 5 is 20 at the denominator's place so result of this question is 9 upon 20 right so this is how we solve it okay so i will bring more fraction examples in my next video thank you for watching